Welcome back everyone, Atreus Raven here, continuing where we left off in Hogwarts Legacy. We're right in the middle of a quest. So, we're just going to get right into it. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content. But I went over there. I don't see anything, so... Oh, cutscene. Why do I need this cutscene? Also, I just noticed. Oh, things have changed. Let's give it a shot. What did that burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. Rebellion. I agree. The noise. For some reason, this is giving me Meow Wolf vibes. Well, let's do it just. Oh, excellent. Oh, these guys actually look... Ow, thanks for the heads up game. Did I just miss it? Obviously not. Why would they make it easy? They literally said we're testing you. There's a chest up there. I don't fully understand. Oh. I, I get it. You can calm down now. The creepy moans can stop now. Oh, new stuff opened up as well. Rebellion. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. I just went through both. Oh. No, none of you. I understand what's different. Did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? It really won't let me. Oh, 
Okay. Not seeing anything too different. Let's go through the other direction. Oh! I was going through the wrong way this entire time. Shut up. We figured it out already. Calm down. Oh, wait. I know. I'm not going to do this right if I do it like this. Oh, wait. It's the chest. The chest is still out there. Okay. Hold on. I nearly messed up by messing up. Ooh. Unidentified neck item. I need to use both sides of the archway. Shut up. You talk too much. Oops. I know I'm talking about myself here, but my gosh, calm down. Give me a freaking second to think. I don't want to get used to the floors. Anything I'm missing? Alright. Hey! Oh! Ooh, that was the wrong move. Oh good, there's more of them. Oops. Oops, I goofed up a whole bunch on that one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh good, more of these puzzles. Oops. I'm guessing that is how you correctly do it. Wait, but there's... Oh well. If I miss an item, I'm not too beat up about it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's giving me potions. We're about to encounter a boss fight, aren't we? Oh, it's definitely a boss fight. Please just run. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, there's a whole bunch of enemies in here. Um, that's not who we're focusing on. Thank you, though. And my reaction time is not very good at the moment. feeling. Keep doing that. Ouch! Oh wow, I can actually freeze up. Wait, that looks bad. Oops. Oh, I still didn't take any damage though. Why do I keep hitting Incendio like an idiot? well as I could have done on that, but it wasn't terrible. Okay, these stairs can stop doing that. That would be great. Oh, it's been slowing me down for no... Whoa. Hi. Another pensive. More importantly, another chest. Rebellion. Aw. It's got some weak-ass shit in it. Are you going to start crying? Yes. Yes was the answer. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. The 
It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. Uh-oh. She's definitely gonna end up being the bad guy. To use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him? Yes. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. I don't trust you. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. We just wait for the guide. Believe it or not, I don't need your comment over everything. That's the one part I think they need to get right about video games. Is like, as long as you have a quest tracker, your character doesn't need to say everything out loud. Oh, you. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They, and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. Do you think just any goblin 
Don't forget my studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go. Yes, sir. Professor, have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path. I don't think so. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Oh, interesting. Yes, I will look out for them. All right. That's a Keeper. Oh, is time passing in the game now? Very cool. It's now fall. Huh. Let's read our mail. We have none. All right, cool. Good talk. Not really what I want to learn, but sure. What's upstairs? I should ask Serona at the three broomsticks about the goblin she was talking to the day of the troll attack. Now again, I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Stop by the shop when you can. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential All right, any other mail? Doesn't seem like it. First things first, I actually want to go over to the greenhouses because I think there is a mandrake in there. Oh, I should also check out the mission to get the new spell, Arresto Momentum. Oh, there's more. I don't really care about Descendo either. I mean, it probably is helpful, given the game gave it to us, but... Alright, let's see. Ooh, we got a list of ones. Sweeping the competition. Okay. Cast a pulso on a limit. Okay. Um... Let's go do this first. Excellent. And then we'll do the flying missions, I think. The other thing I'm debating is just like going around and hitting every single um, uh, location, flu, flu location. But I might do that. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Not sure I believe you, but sure. I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Yeah, sure. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. We back a Alright. I don't really care about that at the moment. Ooh, wait, no, we're doing this. Fuck everything else. <laughs> 
I want pets. Oh, I didn't need a world map. I needed a Hogwarts map. I'm so excited. I want animals. I want pets. This is what I've been looking forward to in the room of requirements. Come on, give it to me. I will wait. Just sitting on the ground waiting for class to start. Don't mind me. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Yes, please. Yes, sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howand. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howand's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep Hi, Gerald. His tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Okay, tap T, then hover over the... Oh, I'm dragging into a spell slot. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Uh huh. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. Hi, Gerald. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And okay. please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way, the Neasles are over here. Couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. I hope it hurts you. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tus tus peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. It's a giant cat. It's so cute. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. No. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, 
Where is our new student? Ah, right here, playing with the. Ah, I would like a moment, please. I don't want to. I'm petting the kitty. Can I do this with? Oh my gosh! Oh, I didn't mean to get in. Hey guys, I'm here now. <laughs> okay, hi. Can I can I capture wild animals in the wild now? You want to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I love. I love it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. I've killed goblins and giant statues. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Uh -huh. Over here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. It's not... You've intrigued me. Better not be a giant spider. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I will follow you. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I I'm sorry, is it saying I can... Why am I not able to use my spells? Whatever. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Oh, I'm way over on time. Alright, we're gonna see the wild animal first. Stand back. Oh, is it a hippogriff? A griffin? Hippogriff. Do I finally get a mount? Please meet Hyrie. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must. I was gonna say, are we gonna bow first? Before you approach them. From looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Oh, 
Bye. When do I get my mounts? I want my Thestral mount already. So, what did you think of Highwing? She's so pretty. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. Time for Etria's Raven to step in. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. That's what she just said. I think I'm going to look into Don't pretend like that's our idea. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. I hope so too. Because I like wild animals. Okay. We need to reorganize some stuff. I wish there was a way it would let us clear it. Okay. So. This is what we're about to learn. Yeah, here's all the curses. Oh, there's an even more powerful. Alright, so I like Glacium. Ringo. We could do it like this. Boom. We leave Incendio here. Grab you. We go to Pulso here. Right. So we have these. These are always going to be interchangeable, but what if we go... We'll just go ahead and move all these up real fast. So Reparo is pretty much never used in combat. Same with Lumos, same with Guardium Leviosa. So if we just sort of go Incendio here... Like, just a couple extra combat spells, you know? And then all this stuff at the bottom will be sort of swappable. I guess we can at least keep Lumos. But yeah, and then these will be the spells sort of on the bottom that we use outside of combat. I think is probably the best way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and do that, though. All right, anyway, I got to get going because we are well over time. So thank you, everybody, so much for being here. As always, I love you. I'm proud of you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.